Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mr. Taylor's class. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Mr. Taylor's class. Make sure you guys put in your information for me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials. Good afternoon. We're going to get started. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials. We're on page 11. Page 11. We're on page 11. Page 11. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials. Since it's raining outside, we're going to let a little rain music come on down. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials. Good afternoon. We're going to let... Again, good afternoon. Welcome to Mr. Taylor's World History Class. Today, I need for you guys to DM me your first and last initial. In addition, I also need for you guys to take out page 11. Page 11. Page 11 of the packet. Again, page 11 of the packet. I need for you guys to take out page 11 of the packet. In addition, I need for you guys to DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. And the period that you're in. You cannot forget about that. I need the period. So, again... Good afternoon, guys. DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. And we're going to get started in a few more minutes. We're on page 11. Page 11. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that we're in. I'm sorry, the period that you're in. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. We're going to get started in two more minutes. Two more minutes. I want everyone to, to, get, to have a chance to uh, say our page 11. We're on page 11. If you're not sure what page 11 is, this is page 11 right here. We're talking about... The actual speech of a Greek goddess, of a Greek goddess. We're going to get started in a few more minutes. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. We're going to look at the speech by Pericles. He was a well-known Greek goddess. So again, make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials. We're going to look at the speech by the Greek Military General Pericles. Pericles. This is week four. Either week four or five. It's the same packet. Same packet week four, I believe. The same packet. So, good afternoon. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, welcome to World History. This is Mr. Taylor. We are going to look at a Greek goddess for... The, I would say, the the bulk of the, I'm sorry, the bulk of ancient Rome where a lot of times this, this individual was so powerful, he was able to lead, even in death, people to where they really felt for him. But not only that, felt for him, but they felt for his message in addition to his whole vision of being a better society. So, are we started? Give me a thumbs up. If we're started, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Thumbs up. Are we ready? Are we ready? Thumbs up. Are we ready? Thumbs up. Are we ready? Give me a thumbs up. I need to see some thumbs up. Remember, class participation is very important from the beginning to the end. I guess everybody's ready. I don't see anyone not giving me a thumbs up. So, this is our schedule for today. We're going to complete our do now. The do now is actually... On the, on, I'm sorry, the do now was on Mr. Taylor's page earlier. So if you guys have it, we can, you guys can now type it in the comment section when it's time. In addition, we're going to review our past, our past class notes. We're just going to talk about a few things. After that, we're going to actually preview the Greek god Pericles. Pericles was a very profound individual, which we will definitely get in, uh, look into. After that, we're going to annotate, a, a, the, I'm sorry, we're going to annotate his, his, uh, his speech. And last but not least, we're going to uh, re- we're going to review some impact facts. So I see everybody has their hands, their thumbs up. So let's get started. You do now, real simple. List two characteristics of a citizen. List two characteristics of a citizen. So what do you guys think? 
Citizens are. So, if you're not sure about it, here's a little sentence starter. Two characteristics of a citizen are. Two characteristics of a citizen are. So, I want you guys to indicate in the comment section, what do you think two characteristics of a citizen are? Take a, take a minute or two and just comment. What do you guys think two characteristics of a citizen's are? I'm sorry, of a citizen is. That should be is. My apologies. What are two characteristics of a citizen? Two characteristics of a citizen. What are two characteristics of a citizen? So again, I want you guys to tell me in your own words. There's no right or wrong answer. What do you think are two characteristics of a citizen? If you just go, okay, two characteristics of a citizen are low you and intelligence. Okay. Remember, if you guys are just coming in, after you complete your do now, make sure, make sure you DM me your first and last initial in the period that you're in. That's the only way you guys cannot get credit. So I see four or five started very well. Their characteristics of a citizen, I'm sorry, of a citizen is loyalty and intelligence. Okay, anybody else want to uh, chime in on that? That's a great foundation. So if I were to say that, I would say it's loyalty and smartness. Okay. I would say freedom, mean and nice. Mm, okay, that's different. All right. For my, what's wrong? Okay, loyalty and goodness. Okay. Anybody else? Let me see two more answers. There's the right thing at all times and it's loyalty. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Let me see one more. What is one more characteristic of a of a citizen? It doesn't matter if he's a good if he or she is a good citizen or a bad citizen or, or a bad citizen. Just what is another characteristic? I, a lot of you guys seem to believe that characteristics are the person has to be loyal. Okay, respect and loyalty. Okay, freedom and strength. Okay, so these are all great answers. So what what I want you guys to do now? Can someone tell me one impactful fact that we went over in class on Tuesday? So I want you guys to type me in the comment section. What is one important fact that you guys remember about last week? I'm sorry, about Tuesday. What is one important factor or note that you guys remember from last week? So I want you guys to take a minute and just type in one thing that was important to you that you learned last week. Fail their, fail their dream and require their dream. Can you go into detail about that? Good afternoon, guys. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to a rainy Thursday in world history, but you guys are doing really good with your foundation, with your engagement. So just continue. What's one thing you guys remember last week in class? We went over some vocabulary terms. We looked at certain certain Greek god, uh, certain Greek gods. So I want you guys to tell me one thing that you remember. If you need to take a minute or two to go through your notes, that's fine. I will let you guys have that minute and a half now. You have 90 seconds. Go. So, again, as you guys type in your information, this week we're going. We're on page 11, which is very important. This is probably one of the most profound leaders in Athens, I'm sorry, in uh, Athens, Greece. So, again, good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initial if you're just joining in. In addition... I want you guys to tell me, which means I want you to type in the comment section, what is one important fact that you remember in class on to, on Tuesday? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initial in the period that you're in. We are on page 11. Page 11. I see you guys are still typing. So for me, one thing that I remember from last week is that the the concept of democracy was really important. There were a lot of countries that didn't believe in that. So, what I, I won't say, good afternoon, I, I won't say that they didn't believe in it, but they didn't know. So, when democracy came, game came, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. when democracy came about, it was brand new for not only the country of Greece, but just how ordinary people live their lives. So, that was one fact that, that was very important to me, that the, that the concept of, the, of democracy was really, really powerful. Anybody else? All right, so I know you guys remember, and I love your, your participation, so we're going to get started. So, again, we're on page 11. Page 11, this is the text right here, if you guys forgot. This is the page This is the page of the text right here, page 11. So, are we ready? Give me a thumbs up. If we're ready, give me a thumbs up. We're good on time. We are really good on time. So, if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. All right, so 
that figure right there. When you see that figure, type in what do you think? When you see a figure like this, you see he has a shell, you see he has a headpiece on, you see he has the clothing. When you see that figure, I want you guys to type in what do you think? What's the first word that comes to mind when you see that image of that figure? Respect, okay. Great foundation. Anybody else? Anybody else? Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials in the, in the period that you're in. He is powerful and wealthy. Hmm. He is here and has power. Okay. Respect. All right. A slave of the leader. Okay. Slave. Smart. All right. Anybody else? Remember, just type in your opinion. A leader. All right. Brave. Okay. I like that. Powerful. Good. Anybody else? Powerful, all right. These are all great answers. So it seems to me that this, that a lot of you guys see this individual as powerful. So he is actually the Greek commander that we're going to look at today. His name is Percules. Percules was one of the most outstanding, profound leaders, as I just talked about earlier. He, as you guys will look in some of your, in some of the notes, he was so powerful that people on a consistent basis voted him in. Now, a lot of you guys may be wondering, so why did, how could they vote him in? Remember, he was just after they started democracy. Can someone tell me what does the term democracy mean? That's very important. I want you guys to type in the comment section, what does the term democracy mean? What does the term democracy mean? Please type that in the comment section, please. It doesn't have to be the definition that I, that I gave you. From what we went over, to put in your own words, to deconstruct the the, the term, what does the term democracy mean? Take a few moments. Take your time. We'll, you guys have like 60 seconds. I'm sorry, 90 seconds. Good afternoon. Make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. What does the term democracy mean? That is very important. Very important. Regarding this individual. What does the term, the, I'm sorry, what does the term democracy mean? Take another 45 seconds. A type? All right. All right. Which one? It, it's it's a type? All right. Uh, not necessarily, but it is something that has to be presented. I will say that. Has to be presented. So, anybody else? I know you guys know. Remember, it's not, I don't, I'm not looking for, the most profound answer. I just want you guys to try. Just just try for me. What do you guys think the word democratic means? Well, if you're not sure, democratic basically means being able to have rights to bring in to bring in people that you feel are going to speak for you. So for example, the United States is, is a democratic society because we're able to do this every four years or every two years. What do you think that is? Okay, where people have political power. Exactly. So when you do, people vote every two and four years. Good afternoon. So when people vote every two or four years for government officials or government leaders, why do people vote? I want someone to type in, why do you think people vote? Why do you think pe people vote? It's a part of government or anybody else? That's a really great start. Oh, five. I'm sorry, zero, five. All right, but why? Good. So can someone tell me why do people vote? Why do why do you think people vote? What is the reason for for uh, voting? Excuse me. What is the main reason or what is a reason for voting? I just want to pick your brains a little bit. What do you guys think? To get a better leader. Exactly. That's the main concept is to get a better leader or anything around that. So let's get back to this individual Percolis. So this this is Percolis for the way they want to get treated. Okay. So I guess they want to get treated. Pretty good, right? All right, so let's look at Percules for a little bit. So Percules was, let's look at this individual for a little bit. Let's really break him down as a person. Percules was, he was named the Olympian. Olympians are individuals that are very strong, very powerful. They, they, they want to pick a good leader so they can express their choice of how they want to be led exactly for the way they want to get treated. All right, exactly. So this is Percules right here. This is some information about him. His nickname was the Olympian. Very strong, very powerful, very dominant. Number two, he was born into a, a wealthy family. So if you're born into a wealthy family, what does that do for you? 
What do you think that does for you? I want you guys to uh, type that in. <laughs> Being born into a wealthy family, what does that do? If you're born into a wealthy family, what can that do for you? If you're born into a wealthy family, what can that do for you? What can that do for, for your future? Just type in one or two words what you think that can do for your future if you are born into a wealthy family. Take 30 more seconds to tell me what do you think it can do for you. It, you can have power, right? Along with power, you can also have different resources. It can give you power. It can give you resources. It, it can put you in a better life. Exactly. So he was born into opportunities that a lot of people didn't have. It gave you more privileges. Exactly. So let's continue to look. He, okay, you may have better chances at accomplishing your goals. Exactly. Good afternoon. And allow you to get whatever you want. Exactly. So this person right here was already born into privilege. Great job, guys. Great job. He was elected as the military general for 29 consecutive years. This is a lot. So for 29 straight years, he was voted in by people. What do you guys think that says about him? What does that say about someone if you're voted for 29 consecutive years as the military general? What does that say about you as a leader and, or as a person? What does that say about you if you are voted by the people of Athens to be their military general or the military leader for 29 straight years. What does that say? What do you think that says about you as a person? One or two words. What do you think that says about you as a person? People like him. Great. Good job. People do like him. He was a good leader. And people loved him. All right. Anybody? Good afternoon. Question. Do you think... He was a good he was a good leader. OK, do you think that people could also let's bring it back for a second. So he was voted. He was voted leader for 29 consecutive years. Do you think that can happen right now? Do you think in our society right now that a person could be could, could be elected for any kind of job for a long period of time? Do you think a person could be elected for a leader for a long period of time. How Pergolese was elected leader for 29 years. Could, could that happen again? And if so, who? Who do you think could be elected for a long period. For so many years. Over and over. On a consistent basis. Who? I think I know who you guys may say. But, but I want to see who. Okay. If you say no. Tell me, tell me why no. If you say yes. Tell me why do you think that could happen. So right now you are typing in. And I'll say the question one more time. Do you think a person could be elected for a long period of time? I knew someone was going to say former President Obama. Why? Why do you say former President Obama? I knew that was going to happen. Do you think a person could be elected for a long period of time in consecutive years, such as Pergolese, or do we, do we, yes, former President Obama, okay. Why? Everyone keeps saying former President Obama. Why do you think he would be voted one of the why do you think he could be voted for a long period of time? The question was, the other question before that is, we're, we're going over the questions now. Okay, why? I want you guys to tell me why. Tell me why. If you say no, tell me why you think a person could not be elected right now for so many terms. If you think a person could be elected, tell me why. Because of Obamacare. Okay, I like that. I'll go for that. All right. I see you number know, four. I see you. Good. Good answer. I like that one. I like that one. I say Obama because he was a very good president, actually cared for the country, not only, I'm sorry, and not only about himself. Okay. All right. Okay. Anybody else? I know, I think I saw one or two people say no. I want to see, I want to see some no's. I, I saw a lot of yes. I saw a few yes. I want to see no's. He made, he, he made better changes than, for, than President Trump. Okay. Does anyone say no? If anyone says no, type in why. Because he was responsible and respectful and a great leader. Okay. All right. Again, I see a lot of I see a lot of yeses, which is fine, but no no's. Okay, Obamacare because of his uh, his wife, uh, first lady uh, Michelle Obama. They were making good good decisions in our society because Trump because Trump's dad is a slave owner. All right. So I, I love the answers, but again, that's just something to think about. This person was was elected 
a general. So he was the number one military person in Athens for 29 years straight, nonstop. That says a lot about him. So we're going to get back. We're going to get back. I love the, the participation. Keep it up. The next factor. He led numerous battles where Athens took over several lands. I love how you guys are still commenting, which is fine. I just want to make sure you guys pay attention to the information going on as well. Again, good afternoon. If you're just logging in, make sure you guys DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. Do not write your name on the comment section. Remember, guys, stay focused. Stay focused. I love the the participation, but I want you guys to also look look at the information. Uh, now starting words with the current presidents. Okay, that's uh, let that be the last one. I want you guys to stay focused to this. As uh, as the as the MG. MG, which is the military, I'm sorry, which was a military general, so he was the main person in charge, he introduced a law for people in military to get paid. So, we're going to focus on that for a little bit. This person was a military general. So, Pericles was a military general. He introduced a law for, for military people to get paid. Why do you think it was important for military people to get paid? Now, now this is what I want you guys to type in the comment section. Why do you think it was put, it was important for military people to get paid? I want you to, to type it to type in the comment section. Why do you think it was important for military people to get paid? Why was that so important? Why was it so important for military people to get paid? Tell me why. Why do you think that was so important that military individuals should get paid? Because they because they fought. Okay. Anybody else? Let me see one or two more answers. Because they fought. Because they didn't leave. So they can so they could support their family. So he was born into again this individual right here. He was born into a very rich family, right? So do you think that most people in the military were rich or were they poor? Because they died and fight for us. So do you think people that fought in, in the military were they very poor people or were they very rich people? Meaning, were they? Did they grow up from a rich family, or did they grow up from 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 a poor family? Which one do you guys think it was? It was important for military people to get paid because every day they are risking their lives. Now, remember, not for the U.S., but for Athens. Not for. I love your answer, but remember, they he fought for Athens people to get paid. There you go. So they were poor people. So if you're poor, a poor person and you're finally getting money, like you said, you can you can support your family. You can support your family can have basic needs and or fundamentals that everyone else has. Great job. We're going to look, look at a few more. So he constructed many, many buildings and temples in Athens. So we're going to bring it back real quick. There was a lot of a lot of engagement, but there was also a lot of information. Is there anything that you guys did not understand about Pericles? And if so. Please feel free. So if you if you don't have any if you have any questions, please type it in the comment section. If you don't have any questions, give me a thumbs up. I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Good afternoon. Do not do not do not say your name. Make sure you DM me your first and last initials. DM me your first and last initials. Do not say your name. Do not type in your name. DM me your first and last initials and the period that you're in. That's all you have to do. Again, if there aren't any questions, give me a thumbs up. If there are questions, type it in the comment section. I'll give you guys 20 seconds. It was a good movie. I saw it myself. Good job. All right. I'm just making sure we're all on the same page. All on the same page. So now we're going to look at the text. The text is on page 11. So the text talks. The text is about a funeral going on of a very respected individual. So Pericles is actually talking about what made, why freedom was so important. During ancient Rome and ancient civilization, I'm sorry, during, during ancient Rome and the Roman Empire more so, funerals were really important events. If you, were, if you went to a, funer a, a funeral, you were considered very high in the social class. If you spoke at a funeral, you were considered almost a giant. So that's why we're going to look at this this speech, but not not only the, the speech, but what is being said. Okay? So we're on we're on page eleven. We're on page eleven. We're going to get started. We're going to get started. 
So what you guys are going to do, you guys are actually going to annotate with me as I read it. What is underlined, you guys will underline yourself. So we're going to get started. For our system of government does not copy. So what you guys are going to underline, system of government does not copy. So what do you think? I'm sorry. I'll let you guys underline that first before I go into it. What I'll do is I will read the text and we'll go back and underline everything. It says, well, I'm sorry, does anybody want to read? If, if you want to read, you don't have to, but if you want to read, you can message me. If you read, do not say your face, do not show your face or say your name. You can just read it. Then I will log you off. Okay. For our system of government does not copy the systems of our neighbors. We are a model to them, not they to us. Our constitution is called a democracy because power rests in the hands of not of a few, but of many. Mm, that's pretty powerful right there. So let's break it down from here to here. So it says, from our system of government does not copy. So what that is basically saying is that our system does not copy whose? Our neighbors. So our, our government, the way it is defined, the way it is ran, it's, it's original. No one else copies it. I'm sorry, we don't. I'm sorry, it is a original. We don't copy anybody else's ways of life. We are a model to them. When you model something, what do you do? So, for example, if you are a model citizen or a model student, what does that mean? So, I want someone to type that in the comment section. If you are a model student, if you are a model citizen, what do? What does that mean? What does that mean if you are a model student or a model citizen? What does that mean? I want someone to type it in the comment section. You show exactly. So their government show other people how they should run it, how they should operate it. So let's continue. Our constitution is called a, de a democracy. Mm. So we're going to underline our constitution, democracy, because power rests in the hands, not of a few, but of many. What does that mean? Power rests, okay, power rests in the hands, not of a few, but of many. So what do you, okay, guys, what do you guys think, think that means? And I want you guys to answer on what you think, not of what you see someone else type. What do you think it means when power rests in the hands of, not of a few, but of many? What do you guys think, think that means? Type it in. Let me see one or two answers. Power rest, power for government, power for our laws, power for the way we live. It rests not just in the hands of a few people, but of a lot of people. Many people have power. Okay, are you? Do you think that, or is that an, or is that an exp, uh, explanation? Because that that looks like a question mark. Many people have power. Okay, have power. Okay. So, you, but you are correct. Many people have power. Exactly. Good afternoon. Please DM me your first and last initial. And the period that you're in, a lot of people have different powers. Okay, let's let's continue. Our laws guarantee equal justice for all of their private deputies. And, and as for the election of public officials, we welcome talent to every arena of achievement. Nor, when you see the word nor in that kind of uh, text, in addition to the color as Miss Simmons and Miss O have taught you guys all year, what does that let us know? What does that indicate? What does that term right there, nor means? What does that indicate? Only one person. What does it indicate when you see the word nor in the text? I know Miss Simmons and Miss O has have gone over this numerous times. What, what's about to happen? What is about to happen? Come on. Take 30 more seconds. What do you guys think is about to happen? Or what, is this, or what does this indicate in the text? Normal? Uh, let's see. We welcome something different. Good job. Something different or a change. Exactly. We welcome talent to every arena of achievement, nor do we make our changes to the grounds of class, but on the grounds of excellence. So what this is saying, and again, I want you guys to underline laws. Guarantee equal justice, private, and election of, of public officials. So it says that they welcome 
talent to every arena, but also they welcome changes not to social class, but to intelligence. So that was a lot of information. We're going to bring it back real quick. First part of the text talks about how their government is better than everybody else. They don't copy anybody. They make sure that their government stands for who they are as people, but also it models or it shows other governments and other countries how and why they're so good. That's the first part of that paragraph. Second part of that paragraph states, you know what? Since our government is so powerful and such a quote unquote model, why is it a model? Well, it's a model because A, we welcome all people, not just of social class, but of talent. Why is that important as a government to accept people from all areas and not just people that are in charge? Why is that important? Please stay focused. Why is that important that governments welcome or, or accept people of all different backgrounds, not just people that are rich or not just people that are powerful? Now, now I want you to type in the comment section. Why is that important? Why is that important? To have equality. Exactly. Anybody else? 101, that is perfect. Anybody else? Good job. Good job. Anybody else? 30 more seconds. So now we're... Because... I'm sorry, because you don't know if it can help you. I'm sorry, because you don't know if it can help you achieve something. Okay, to make those people feel as equal to everybody else. Perfect. These are all perfect answers. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the next answer. The next answer is you guys are actually going to tell me what to type in. So we're going to go back. We're going to get started. We're going to go back. This is the second answer. This is your section. So what you're going to do is you're going to write what should be annotated in the comment section. So. We'll go over one more time, and I'll go sentence by sentence. It says, again, you guys are going to indicate in the comment section by writing the word down, which should be annotated. As we give free play to all in our public life, so, I'm sorry, so we carry the same spirit into our daily, re into our daily re relations with one another. Which should be, I want you guys to type in the comment section, from here to there. Again, from here to there. What should be annotated? You can go now. I want you to type in. What do you think is most important? We give. All right. Good start. Great start. Anybody else? Good start. I like that start. We give what? We give what? And again, we're going to go in order. Do not say the same thing over and over again. Okay. We give free play. They give free play to who? To who? Again, we're going in order. We give free play to who? Remember, we're going in order. Pay attention, please. We give free play to public life. Good. Who in public life? Some people. Most people. Who? Relations. Okay. That's at the bottom. But we're good. We give free play to how many people? Life. Okay. To all people. Good. All people in public life. So after they do that, what do they do? What do they do right here? What do they do? What do they do right there? Spirit, okay. What do they do? What do they do with that spirit? What do they do with that spirit? Okay, we're on we're on this this sentence right here. All the words that that, that should be underlined. And or circle. However you guys annotate. Carry, okay. They carry the what? What do they carry? What do they carry? They carry the what? They carry the same spirit into their daily what? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. They carry what? What do they carry that's so important? What do they carry that's so important? They carry the same spirit into their daily what? So far, so good. They carry the same what? What do they carry the same? What do they carry into their daily what with? 
If not, I will go over it because you guys, you guys did 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 really good. So, as you guys stated before, we give free play all public life. First part, good job. You were right. They carry the same spirit into daily relation with one another. So, what do you think that says? So let's break it down. As we give free play to all of all of, to all. In our public life, which means they give free interaction, free engagement into 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 their public life. They also carry the the same spirit into their daily into into their daily interaction with each other. We have no black looks or angry looks for our neighbor if he enjoys himself in, in his own way. So, we have no black looks or angry looks. What do you think? I think the word black looks or angry looks mean. What do you guys think? Black, we have no black looks or angry words. What is what does that mean? What does it mean that someone has no black looks or angry words? What do you guys think that means? I want you to type that in the comment section. Evil, exactly. They don't look at they don't look evil at they don't act as though they are upset or at our at, at anyone or evil. They feel that everyone is equal. So again. We have no black looks or angry words for our neighbor if he enjoys himself in his own way. And we even avoid little acts of meanness. So not only do they not look mean or act mean, I'm sorry, not only do they not look mean or have bad words, but they also don't show what? What what, what do they not show? What do they not show? What do they not show each other? What do they not show each other? A bad spirit. Okay, that's good. They have nothing negative to say. Exactly. A bad relationship with, with one another. Exactly. So these people, so he is telling people at the death of this figure that because our country is so negativity, exactly, because our country is so dominant, so powerful, we don't have time to be mean. We don't have time to to have a bad look. We don't have time to say angry words. So, let's continue. Though they do now more damage, leave hurt feelings in their wake. So, basically what that is saying, the end part is that we don't have any kind of... Because we don't give any negative looks, bad words... We don't have any kind of psychological damage to each other, which will leave people hurt. So that was a lot of a lot of information. I like how you guys were were engaging. So the first answer talks about how powerful, how good their government was, how other people's, how other countries. I'm sorry. The first answer talks about how good their their government was, how it was a model, but also why it was a model. The second answer talks about why people. Why they were so lovely, or, or why they why they liked each other so much. Now, do I need to go over anything else? Again, I can say it one more time, just to be safe. I have no problem with it. Again, first answer talks about how good their government was, how how it was a model, how people were voted in because of not only what they who they were, but also what they bought. The second stance talks about, okay, this is why we're so good, because we don't have evil spirits, because we're not mean people, because we have a lot of support for each other. Any questions about that? That was a lot of information, a lot of information. I like how you guys were able to annotate everything. I know you guys had some questions, but I definitely enjoyed your engagement. It is 1.35. We have 10 more minutes. We need to go over these questions now. Sure. What do you guys want? What, what need? What, I'm sorry. What? Should I go over again? The first answer or the second answer? Please type it in the comment section, please, so I can know exactly what to go over. There are some questions, okay, which is fine. So why? You, so again, you know what? I'll just go. Over, I'll go over everything one more time. So the first answer again talks about you know what? Our government is pretty great. We have a government where we don't model people. People model us. People see how we do things. Secondly, I'm sorry, in addition to that, our government is so powerful because, A, we elect people not for their class, but also 
for their talents. That's the first answer. Second stance talks about, well, the reason why our government is so great because, A, we don't hurt anybody. We don't talk bad. We don't have bad looks. We treat, we treat everyone the same. I'm sorry. We treat everyone with the same love and respect that all, I'm sorry, that everybody else wants, but they can't. So, was that good? Give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. I'll go over it one more time. No problem. We're, we're still good with time. We're still good with time. Are we good? Give, give me a thumbs up. It's 137, 38. We still have a few more moments, but we are good with time. I guess we're all good. No one is giving me a thumbs down. So I guess you're all silent. So we're going to continue. So our questions. According to Pergles, who has power in democracy? So that was in your first text. If you're not sure with it, the answer is power rests in the hands, not of a few, but of many. Power rests in the hands, not of a few, but of many. So basically, power rests in, in, I'm sorry, power rests with who? One word. Power, power rests with you. Power rests with whom? One word. It was actually part of your do now question today. Power rests in whose hands? Who has power? One word. It was part of your do now question. Power rests. Good afternoon. Power rests in in whose hands? One word. One word. It's part. Of, it was part of your do now question. Many, exactly. Anybody else? Many, but there's another word that I'm looking for. There's another word that I'm looking for besides many. You guys don't don't have to type in many anymore. What word? What word in your do now talks about a lot of people? No, not people. Well, there's another word. And you do now question. Stop. All right. You guys don't don't have to say say the same answer after uh, someone types it in. If you go to your do now section, your uh, do now question. Citizens. Exactly. Citizens. So according to Pergles, who has the power in a, in a democracy? Citizens. Citizens. So you want to write citizens for that answer. Number two. In your own words, what does it mean? So what does it mean that people, that citizens have power? I want you guys to uh, type that. You go out, You guys are going to write in, your, in the comment section. What does it mean that citizens have power? What does that mean? I want you guys to type in the comment section. What does it mean that citizens have power? What does it mean that citizens have power? What does it mean when, when, when it says citizens have power? What does that mean? So I need a I need a explanation. What does it mean when citizens have power? They have control. Exactly. They have control. Number three, according to Pergles, could a poor person become a public official or leader? Why or why not? You got a poor person could become a leader because remember, we are talking about ancient, ancient uh, Greek guys. You guys are right. They do have control in the United States. But remember, our lesson is on is on ancient uh, Rome, ancient Athens, Greece. They have control. OK, so for number three, yes, a poor person could become a leader because they welcome talent to every arena of achievement, not focusing on social class, but of work. So that's question three. There's one more question. So what you guys are basically doing is the one through three, I'm writing the answers. Two through four, you guys are giving me your explanation. We're good with time. And number four, number four. According to Pergles, what are, what are the ideal qualities of someone living in a democracy? So what are some traits that a person living in a democracy will have? Yes, they can if they... They put their mind to something they want to do in life. Okay, that's good. All right. That's fair. Anybody else? Now, again, question four. According, uh, yes, sir, you have a question. What is your question? Yes, sir. You have a question. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. You have a question. Take your time and I'll type it in. Again, if anyone has any questions that they're not civilized. Okay, that's perfect for number four. I like that. If anyone has any questions that they're not comfortable putting in the comment section, you can DM me after class or during class and I will answer you after class or no, my next availability. Have manners, okay. But remember, manners is, is, is just like being civilized. You are a very civil person. You are a individual that can operate very, very fairly. Excuse me. Have power, okay. These are all great answers. Anybody else? Anybody else? So we have a few more minutes to go. A few more minutes to go. A few more minutes to go. What you guys are going to do now, you're going to tell me in your in your own words, because you guys already gave me the, the uh, answer for question four. List one or three important facts about today's class. We went over a lot of information regarding either the military general and or the text. So what is some information that you guys feel was important for class? Please type that in the comment section now. The comment section now. Tell me what was so important or what were some important facts that you guys learned in class today. We are great with time, guys. We are really good with time. Really good with time. So again, just to regroup or retrack what we did today, we looked at First, we looked at the military general Pergolese and why he was so powerful. What are some things that he actually did for the military and and the people of uh, Athens, uh, Greece? Secondly, we looked at a speech, how that a poor person can become a leader. Remember, he wasn't poor. He was actually a general. Please do not put in the time. Worry about the comments and the questions that I ask you. We learned that more citizens, well, I'm sorry, we learned about more, I'm sorry, we learned more about citizens and how they have control of power. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Can someone tell me how many times was he elected military general? He was elected military general for 29 years. Exactly. Good job. Good job. It was 20, it was 29 years. It was 29 years. So. What what we're going to do now? Your homework your homework is on page twelve. You are you are to no problem, no problem. I I really appreciate the the engagement. Your homework is on page twelve. Page twelve. You will DM me that by three p.m. tomorrow. And have a great weekend. If there are any questions, you guys can sign off. If there are any questions, you guys can sign off. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys Tuesday. Make sure you guys DM me your homework. By 3 p.m. tomorrow. Have a great day. If there aren't any questions. Talk to you guys on Tuesday. Have a great day guys. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you so kindly. Thank you so kindly. Have a great day. Have a great day. Again, I'm just staying on if anyone has any questions. If you don't have any questions, please log off and have a great day. Have a great day. Peace and hair grease. I don't need any, but peace.